say that I'm not the best YouTube reviewer because I don't do lots of reviews. You know, mm. it just takes a lot of time and it's just not my thing. But we do do things behind the scenes, like stuff that we don't actually like post all the time, right? Like we're all actually finding things out. Like we talk to guys like this, like like Phil Jones. Phil Jones. All the way What's from Tokyo. Up, What's up? Well, surprise. What's up? I'm in a, Again, my phone thank you. Cool. I need to clean my lens here. <laughs> how, are, how are you guys? Man, it's, it looks it looks like you're in like looks Japanese over there with the glow. Yes, you got I that am. soft glow I'm, feel. I'm actually, I'm actually in Shirakawa with the gang. So so for example, this is Yuki. Uh, he is one of the sound masters for Denon. So this Whoa, is kind of wow. the gang that we always hang out at. And he's actually doing sound demonstrations on some of the cool products that we're actually, um, I'm at the, I'm over here to see. So I know you guys have heard about the new M1, right? Yeah, we were talking about it last time. Okay, yeah. So, so the M1 is a lot of times when people see that product, they think of it as a, like a multi-zone amplifier. But um, these guys, it's built in Japan. And the goal of that product is to be a compact hi-fi system. So, 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 him, so, so these, this gentleman and his engineering team have been working hard to build these, um, to build that product. Actually, there's a couple other guys back here. You may recognize this guy right here. This is Yamada-san. Hey. So, yeah, I'm sorry, hey. remember, um, who's in charge of our our product development for for Den and Morant's AVR. So, yeah. so, so, yeah. so we're kind of like hanging out in the space. So this is kind of like a collection of some classic pieces that you cannot have. So you know what I like uh, 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 available in other countries is they have the silver face that I, you know, I like that look. Oh, you like the, you like the silver face stuff? Yeah, like a lot it. of times like it's it. not available here, right? Yeah, some of this gold stuff is actually pretty slick. So if you look at, you know, like some of these pieces that they have down this, oh, down yeah, this hot, this is like play, things you would you would you would kill to have. So yeah. So who do Phil, I kill? Did, you see, our, did you see our last podcast? Is that why why you hit us up? Why you hit up Chana? Because you saw well, our last you know podcast. Like, I did. I did. Guy, he's, they're not saying nice one. things right now. No, 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 Chana. What were you doing? No, are you eating, dude? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So, you know, yeah, he's always eating. Eating. you know we keep so, it. I'm always here. eating on the podcast, bro. I'll just like, okay. I'm busy, so, dude. There's so many things happening. I can't get food in before the show. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 what? Did, I know that you had you had saw the M1. What were what were you thinking about it? And what were you? I know there was some questions about it. Correct. I w well, we we're commenting, right? So we what start off the video saying, we don't know this thing. I don't have it in front of me. Let's take a look at it together. And, you know, we we're criticizing because uh, we we're saying, man, that thing's a thousand bucks. Dang. You know what I mean? That's a lot. Well, well, the, well the best way to think of it is we've actually done some A-B testing versus mm. some competitors. And mm. I will tell you, if you do that, com that comparison, you'll see why it commands a premium. And the, the, the goal is to be a compact hi-fi piece. Now, it's, mm -hmm. now, of course, if you step up mm -hmm. something like a Model 40 or something like that, there is a, a, an improvement. But if you're looking for a compact um, hi-fi piece, this is a, a great solution. So a lot of the quality okay, that you would see, see in, a, in, a, in, a, in a Marantz um, AVR or uh -huh. a Marantz hi-fi piece for someone okay. that is compact. So if you're someone looking for a good 100 watt per channel, system to run like maybe a 600 series bowers we got and the internals speaker. there see that hey, what is that back there yeah this is the this is actually the internals here actually let me oh okay, that's kind of cool let's see that let me switch my camera around actually why don't okay. you drive here how do you do this you, i'm gonna give it to my i'm gonna give it to frederick who's my camera okay hey guys so, all right hey how you <laughs> doing <laughs> Man, look, hey, what up? We got to see the whole crew. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we from yeah, Japan, seen us ladies and gentlemen. Hey, this uh, is why you tune into the Daily Hi Fi Podcast. This is all of. Hey, uh, do you know, know Aaron? You know, you know Phil. You guys know before? I don't think we've met before. Hey, Phil, Phil you know how you doing? You know Aaron or what? So um, yes. I don't think he can hear us. Actually, so you have some of the pieces, right? So, so this piece is was. Um, engineered and developed in Shirakawa and is sound tuned like all other Marantz, um, Marantz um, hi-fi products. So the goal is if you have someone that's looking for um, a sound system, but maybe they don't want to have a lot of space and maybe they don't have multiple analog, analog inputs, 
they just maybe want to be um, do multi-zone high res and maybe something like eARC because there's an eARC input on it. This is a great solution. Take this paired with a pair of, you know, 600 series speakers. Mm -hmm. We've actually played this with, on a pair of 702s, mm -hmm. and you'll be amazed at the actual performance of it. So yes, it does have a heels board built in and all of that, but it's designed to go beyond what your normal hi-fi, what your normal multi-zone piece is. Bill, you love you love heels though. You know, so when I go over there, you're always about heels and you got it all set up. And I'm, I'm critical because I'm like, man, how come it's not supporting the I want YouTube music. Right. Mm -hmm. I want I use Cobuzz. Right. So can I use can I use those? What's up? Yeah. The best way I can explain it is the, the engineering team is looking at ways like Yamada San and the whole team is looking at ways to um, to add features to improve the performance of heels. But um, at the same time, it's, it's like a, a checklist of things that they want to do. And I will tell you, if you look at it, there's there's going to be more um, upgrades coming to Heos. Like, okay. for example, last year we did, what, U32, which meant that yeah. was, there's been 32 different versions of it. Now we're going, yeah. I think, U33, which does what Spotify, Hi-Fi, and a few yeah. other pieces. So so a lot of those requests are, are coming. It's just you have to be patient. Well, but you can't goal, blame me, right? We're friends, Phil. Right. We're friends. You can't blame me for being like, I can't use this because I can't play the app, the streaming apps that I particularly use. Right. So I think that's good. Yeah, right? so it what could be saying. great. But if I can't use it, you know, it was. Yeah, yeah that's 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 all. So, well, there's, it, there's some you know, this goes both ways. Right, Phil. So you you get to talk about the M1. But I also I would like to offer some feedback on your end. Right. Isn't that how it goes? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. You're, you're there in Japan, right? Like, this is how we do, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. But I will tell you that a lot of the stuff that you're that you're interested in, um, will it be appearing? I just can't tell you when because I like have my job. <laughs> but I will tell you that that we're continuing to evolve. But but I think if you guys have the opportunity to to uh, to um, test one of these pieces and you let me know, I'll get you a sample. I think you'll be incredibly imp impressed and treat it like it's a nice little. Like it's a nice little hi-fi piece because that's what it's designed to be. Oh, and by the way, it doesn't. I think you, know? you should send one to, to Aaron because he has like testing stuff that can actually, oh, yeah. you can figure stuff out. For me, I'm just going to be looking at Heels. Like, does it play my streaming app? Yes or no? <laughs> you know, so Aaron is the man when it comes to this stuff now. He's yeah. doing more of that. And I think it's very fascinating the way he even does it. Um, you know, because he, he reviewed this. So... This is the one that we we're talking about last time, right? We we're talking about the Wii map. You guys have seen the Wii map, right? The Wii map. Wii map. W I I M. I don't know if I believe it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is the Daily Hi Fi podcast, man. So, you know what I mean? <laughs> if this is, uh, I'll be nicer if we, uh, you know. Hey, I, I, I've actually got a couple I'm questions for Phil while we got them. Because, hey, Phil, okay. I've never met you, but it's nice to meet you. So now let me jump in here before I don't have a chance to ask you. One, I would legitimately like you to come on sometime and explain the whole process of how these amplifiers and electronic pieces are tuned. Because I'll be honest with you, I'm a critic. So that's that's number one. I honestly would be interested. Number two, and it's, it's, a, it's a double. Um... Polk R700, I'm asked all the time. And then the Bowers and Wilkins 801 D4. You know, just, just in case you'd be interested in sending some speakers out my way. All right, now I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I've tried to get the R700s, and, but I was sent the R500s. But the R700s, I don't, I don't get any feedback on anymore. Okay, so you want so, the, so you're looking for the larger ones. Well, when I get back, yeah. you, uh, you, you, you email me. We'll, we'll I'll get your information yeah. from these guys. See, Aaron, why not, the L, why not the the L six hundred? Not interested in that. I think that was one of the coolest ones I've seen. So I'll I'll I'll, I'll, say, I'll say some stuff, some nice stuff too. Those L six hundreds, I was very impressed with what they did, and I feel like you know I like that. I thought that was cool, and I would be interested in what that does. But if you're not interested in reviewing that, well, hold on. Which ones are those? Sorry, well, see, I'm just hijacking this thing. The They're the ones with SDA. Yeah, we can do this some other time, yeah, but I'm just here. I wanted to put okay. you on the spot. I want the flagship BMW speakers one of these days. I gotta know. For it. All right, so now we can talk about Marantz again. Sorry. Okay, so let's go back and talk about the Soundmaster thing. Now, okay. Yeah. Now a lot of there's two parts. The things how it tests and how it sounds, right? Yes. And you could look at two pieces of electronics that test the same, 
have, but they, but for some reason they sound different. And we do this, we do these types of tests all the time, correct? We do like a Marantz and a Denon. But when you play them, they have a different tonality. So what do you, what, what, how do we do this? How do you do that? Is it just picking parts to try to get the tone you're looking for? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we try the uh, in, ingredients and the parts and uh, we, we know the differences in the characteristic mm -hmm. a way we check and we will build mm -hmm. uh, in the, each brand mm -hmm. and we can make the differentiation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so they have like a bunch of if you go if you if you come here it is there's a music the sound rooms here and then each of the sound masters have their own um, rooms in Kawasaki. There's one for Marantz and there's one for Denon. And mm -hmm. there is a sonic signature when it comes to an ABR. Of course, ABR is supposed to get out of the way of the music, but they do kind of add a little bit of soul to the sound. And if, and I, I'm sorry if you compare um, our um, a Marantz to a Denon to a brand A, B, or C, they even if they measure the same, they don't sound the same. So the goal is is a sound that people have um, grown to love when it came to when it comes to Marantz. A lot of times people say it's more of a smoother, more musical sound. So the goal is as you build these products, um, something like an M1 that you still maintain that because you're talking about this is a this is a digital amp, right? Mm. But at the same and Marantz has made tons of Class A, tons of Class A, Class B material, and these amplifiers have different sonic characteristics. So the goal is, how do you... Does that have taste down, Phil? Because I, I heard it mentioned, but I couldn't verify whether that was true or not on the on the website. HDAM, if that's what it's called. HDAM, I don't know. Yeah, Hyperdynamic Amplifier Module. Okay. So, this one, so does, what does this one have that or not? Um, this piece... Um, utilizes what's called, uh, what do you call it? It's Marantz Musical, musical Filtering. filtering. Um, mm. The HDAM or a more, requires more components, so that's normally mm. found on the bigger um, ABRs or okay. the bigger high hi pieces. And those can be used for a variety of different circuits from headphone amplifiers to phono stages to preamp stages. The goal mm. is instead of buying pieces off the shelf, um, they can actually take uh, they can actually build them to get the ton of tonality they, they look for. It's almost like being a chef and being able to pick every little minor ingredient to get exactly the meal you're looking for. Um, mm. It costs more money, takes more time, but you get a much better um, realism of what Morant sound is. Of course, at this price point at a thousand bucks, it would be difficult um, to put to to put to give you a hundred watts per channel by two with you know 20 to 20 with very low distortion plus um, er plus heos and and and, and utilize full hdm circuitry at a thousand bucks but and so as you so that's one of the reasons why you may want to move up into something like a like a model 40 because mm. now maybe the headphone amplifier the phono stages and all of those other things and that's one of the reasons why you would step up but for a guy person looking for a pair of bookshelves or a mm thousand dollar pair of um, floor standing speakers this is a great option if you don't want to have all of those extra inputs so but i think you guys would be quite um, pleased with this we actually we ran this thing on a bunch of different high-end speakers and if you compare this one i challenge you to compare this one to to any other um streaming um capable amplifier this one wow. is noticeable so chana you have you may not have your service on it but if you have played a dang thing on title, I think you'll like it a lot better okay. on here. Okay, all right, all right, okay. Let's, okay. Let's, you know what? Hey, Phil, Phil, are we friends or what? Are we friends? I love you, man. You think I'm cool? I, I love you too, man. That's what I told he, you on the phone. I said, I'll always support called, Phil Jones. Right? He called no me. matter what. I can, I actually, I got to leave because I get to go see them oh. actually manufacturing this piece. But I wanted to actually call in. And yeah. and this what's up from Japan. This is well, this is my one criticism I gotta say, Phil. What's up with the I need we need some DSP capabilities. So if you have this advanced piece of technology and it's made for these two channel guys, you know, they should, you know, I need some magic beans on you're talking that. Talking about like you're yeah. talking about like Odyssey or DSP processing and hi fi pieces like you find in the in the two channel piece. I mean the, uh, in the I, surround. Just some some sort of way to to DSP it, right? A little, I'm sure a little more control than just the base trouble, right? A little bit more control than these. <laughs> I want some, 
Right. And, I want uh, beans on that thing on that thing, Phil. Yeah, That's I, why. I, I, you know, my biggest thing with Marantz is, man, I want to see something on a display that is like bigger than the size of a quarter. You know, like that's that's me. I want something. I want. I want like a real feedback, right? This is real feedback. You know, with the, with the play though is there's so much data, and most people looking at like an AV. I can see it on the Hi-Fi piece where there's not a video source, a video display connected to it. But the problem is when you look at a multi-channel piece, there's just so much data that you're trying to pull off of it. And most of those connected to a TV. Or you could grab your phone and bring up the web UI and see everything. Yeah, I mean, um, okay. the Eversolo people just hit me up to review their little thing that's just like that. In the same-ish price range, 160 or 800, 860 or something like that. So, you know, it's just it's got a nice little screen. I have the... I have the five thousand dollar, absolutely ridiculously uh, overpriced Hi-Fi Rose streamer. I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty sexy, man. Eight inch touchscreen OLED thing. Oh man! It's so so the Hi-Fi oh. Rose thing, I don't get it, right? Because I'm not sitting right next to it. That's my big. Oh, dude, it makes me. I, it's making me like, get. Why do I care if it has a touchscreen on it? Like, and I'm I, sure I, it's I great up. and all that stuff. Use it. <laughs> well, you I'm guys are gonna fight. I gotta go. Yeah, no. Hey, right. we appreciate it, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey Phil, okay, hey Phil, hey Phil, you, you like magic beans or what? You like magic beans or what? Oh, oh, I'm actually going to show them some some of your some of your trickery. The the magic beans is like a it's like a target curve generator for Odyssey mm -hmm. and or 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 Durac. And then there's also these gentlemen put together a test disc that allows you to go for Dolby Atmos that I think you guys would would, would really like to see. So I'm going to actually share some of those files with them while I'm here. Yes. I think that. Uh, that Chana and Joe, I think they'll really very cool. That piece. I appreciate right. you, Phil. Thank hey, you. No, I'm sorry. One, one quick question. I got one. Uh, David Beckham. Can you introduce me to him? <laughs> as soon as I meet him. I'll hook All, you right. Up. All right. All right. Hey, have, have fun over there, Phil. Have fun. Later. Take care. See y'all. Nice to meet you. See you guys. <laughs> nice to meet you. Bye bye. See ya. All right. Okay. Yeah, that was cool. it's kind of spontaneous. That was cool. You know, Phil, you know, that's a, what I keep telling people. When you're friends with somebody, you know, you can start even talking you trash. Just being, just, just being you real. Know, you got to gotta keep it real. And that's what we do here. You know what I mean? You have to, you have to keep it real. Make sure to check out our audio only version of the podcast at anchor.fm forward slash daily hi-fi. Or just go to your favorite podcasting service and search for daily hi-fi.